Okay, and we are going to head off again to try the, uh, the Moss Rose with Jacob Leakes there for us. Jacob, how's the first half gone in, in that really big clash at both ends of the table in League Two? Yes, hi Andy. Well, we're a couple of minutes into the second half here. It's Maxfield 2, Exeter City 2. Uh, it was quite a frenetic, um, edgy start to the first half. But the game really came alive in the 27th minute when Lee Martin got free down the left and sent in a superb ball to um, who it, to uh, Brian Bowman at the back post it was. And he had a free header into an empty net. Two minutes later, oh, corner's just come in from Exeter. It's cleared by Max, sorry. Uh, two minutes later, Maxfield got themselves on level terms when uh, it was James Pearson sent in a great ball and Harry Smith got in front of Exeter keeper James Hammond, uh, who was caught out in absolutely no man's land and Smith had a free header into an empty net. Just a few minutes after that, in the 34th minute, a long ball over the top with Zach Jules uh, failed to deal with and Bowman nipped in in front, got free and lashed the ball home to make it 2-1. We then had three minutes of injury time, and in the last minute of injury time, Macclesfield won a penalty, which then Michael Rose converted. There was a bit of afters after the penalty as Rose tried to get the ball back to the centre circle, which saw him and Hammond booked. Then, in the second half, Macclesfield have really started the better side, and Pearson's long shot uh, was saved well by Hammond. From that resulting corner, Stevens looked like he turned the ball home, or well, Mac th certainly thought he turned the ball home, but the referee... Um, simply said no goal and we played on. Uh, Macclesfield have the ball deep in their own half now with Nathan Cameron who tries to bring it out and it's out on the left with Fitzpatrick. Uh, it's 2-2. Just hearing about that end-to-end uh, -end game at the Moss Rose between Macclesfield and Exeter, we're hearing there's been a chance at that game. Jacob Leakes, what can you tell us about that? Well, a win for Macclesfield would take them out of the relegation zone, and they're really chasing those three points and tonight. Well, uh, Pierce has just put the ball tackle. in, uh, and Smith's header has gone just wide of the post. It was inches away from making it 3-2. And then just a minute after that, a long ball over the top found Elliot Durrell in the box, but his shot went into the side netting from a really tight angle. Uh, Extra just about to have a free kick just on the edge of the centre circle now, uh, but it's Macclesfield who are looking more likely to make it 3-2. We're hearing that there's been uh, a chance at Macclesfield, so we're going to head to the Moss Rose. Jacob Leakes, what can you tell us? Chance at Macclesfield, who still are on top here. They're looking, again, they're more likely to take uh, a 3-2 lead here. It was a great match to play for the host. He played out from the back, um, and I think it was David Fitzpatrick out on the left. He sent uh, a ball over the top, over to the right. Uh, the ball found its way to Harry Smith, who played in Elliot Durrell. Uh, whose shot went just wide of the uh, of the post. Uh, Macclesfield uh, really getting to Exeter now. Exeter uh, getting pinned back into their own half here. Uh, it's Macclesfield 2, Exeter 2. OK, now we're going to go back to the absolutely crucial game at the bottom of League 2 at Macclesfield against Exeter. Exeter fans have made are making the 450-mile round trip on a Tuesday night to see their team face Sol Campbell's side. Anything happening over there, Jacob Leakes? The fans were nearly cheering, Andy. Uh, Jake Taylor, the captain, uh, had a long range shot after he found himself in some space, but that went just wide of O'Hara's post. He was beaten. No, Jake uh, uh, Taylor's just tried to have another long range shot, but that got blocked away. Uh, Exeter trying to put on the pressure here for those fans who are making quite a noise in the uh, corner of the sand over there as the ball just goes up in the air. It's still 2 2, but both sides pushing for a winner. Just heard from Jacob Leakes there from Macclesfield Town. Uh, it, uh, the League Two relegation battle is really hot. In, it's really hotting up. Uh, Yeovil, uh, Yeovil, Macclesfield, and Notts County all on 37 points. It's just goal difference that separate them. Uh, and uh, if you just look at the, t the tables uh, up there on the screen, you can see how tight that is. Uh, Yeovil, Macclesfield, and Notts County all in that. So Macclesfield will be wanting to get that, that late winner. Oh, there has been a, I'm just hearing there's been a big chance at Macclesfield, so we'll go straight back to Jacob Leakes. Jacob, what's happened? Yeah, virtually from that long ball forward I was talking about just before I left you, Cole flicked it on to Harry Smith, uh, who found himself one-on-one -on -one with the keeper in the edge of the box, but his shot went miles over the bar. Uh, he really should have done better with that. 
and Mac really should be 3-2 up. The game's starting to open up. Hopefully we'll have uh, a spell like those seven minutes in the first half where we saw three goals. Mac just trying to clear their lines now as the ball's bouncing up in the air. It's still Macclesfield 2, Exeter City 2. Interrupt you, Dan, because we're hearing there has been a big goal at the Moss Rose. It's Macclesfield Exeter. Who's got it, Jacob Leet? And Macclesfield look to be climbing out of the League 2 relegation zone for the first time since early August here. Harry Smith has got his second of the night. It was great work from substitute Welch Hayes down the right-hand side. The ball came back to Terrell, and Terrell sent a fantastic ball in to Harry Smith, who headed past goalkeeper James Hammond, who was just stuck on his line. Uh, I don't know why he didn't come out for it. Uh, and Harry Smith has got his second of the night and given Mac a 3-2 lead. We've got just four minutes left of normal time here. Uh, Mac climbing out of the relegation zone. But we were talking about the full times coming in and the, there's been a minimum of six minutes added on at the Moss Rose as Macclesfield look to hang on against playoff chasing Exeter. Jacob Leakes, is there any sign of another goal at the Moss Rose? Exeter haven't really uh, had that many shots on goal in this second half. They haven't really managed to find a way through that Mac defence. They're playing five at the back of the host tonight. Although a long free kick has just been sent up to the area. Uh, Exeter sent it back in. Oh, but Fitzpatrick is back there to clear it away and hack it out for a corner, uh, for a throw in, sorry, on this right hand side. Uh, as I say, Exeter haven't really threatened uh, Macclesfield's goal at all, really. They had a couple of shots that have gone just wide of the post. But nothing that has really troubled Kieran O'Hara. Uh, and again, Elliot Durrell has managed to nip in and win a free kick in his own half. Uh, Macclesfield, in the third minute of injury time, I think it is now, um, Macclesfield are looking to just control this game. Still Macclesfield 3, Exeter 2. And uh, we're hearing that there's been another chance at the Moss Rose. Uh, and it's gone to Exeter, Jacob Leakes, has it? Yes, well, the referee will be blowing his full-time whistle any minute. Oh! And that was really, really close for Exeter. They've had two shots. Final whistle's just gone. Uh, it's Maxfield three, Exeter two. Exeter really should have claimed a last-minute equaliser here. Um, when the ball came in from the corner, Sweeney misses a free header. And then the ball came back in again, and Lord just can get anything on it. He then has a shot from a uh, long, long range, which whistles past the post. But Macclesfield have clung on, and they climb out of the relegation places for the first time since early August, thanks to two goals from Harry Smith and a Michael Rose penalty. Sol Campbell will be a very happy man tonight.